Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Make It Make, where I always try to encourage you guys, if you can't get it to make, then make it make. And today we're gonna to be learning how to can chicken. Now canning chicken is actually really super easy. Um, all you do is you just cut up your chicken breast, that's what I have here, and you add it to the jar very loosely. This is not something that you want to pack in your jars, you just want to add the meat loosely. And if you want, you can add a teaspoon of salt per quart or a half a teaspoon per pint, but it's not something that's necessary for preservation. And I'm kind of going to do a little bit of an experiment today with headspace. I have some jars that I'm going to be um, leaving the headspace at what's recommended, which is one inch and a quarter. An inch and a quarter of headspace is what you're supposed to leave. And I think some jars I'm going to just leave one inch headspace because I'm finding a lot of shrinkage and it looks like a waste of a jar, but we'll see what happens going to take a clean rag with vinegar and wipe the top of my rim. Going to take my favorite for jars lids and close it at fingertip tight. Now you can add seasonings to your chicken before you can it. Um, I like to make enchiladas with my canned chicken, so I'm just going to take a taco seasoning packet and I'm just going to add that to my chicken. And now I'm just going to add my seasoned chicken to a pint jar. So I only need a pint jar for the enchilada, the enchiladas that I make. And again, pints are processed at 75 minutes at 11 pounds of pressure and quarts are 90 minutes at 11 pounds of pressure. Okay. I think that looks good. Once again, you're going to take your vinegar and wipe the rim. Add your lid, fingertip tight. And now I'm just gonna start processing them. All right, so like I said earlier in the video, I was talking about experimenting with the headspace because what I've been seeing when I can my chicken is a lot of shrinkage. So let me show you what I have here. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about here. Again, it has, I know that this jar is hot and this one is at room temperature. Um, it has nothing to do, the headspace and the shrinkage has nothing to do whether it's hot or cold. It's just after it's cooked, okay? But this jar right here, we did a one inch headspace, okay? And we see how full this jar is right here. And then look at this jar. This we did an inch and a quarter of headspace and I just felt like it, just the shrinkage was so much more, as you can see, and I just feel like that's just a complete waste of a jar. So my advice is, you know, I would give, if you're going to can chicken, I would definitely uh, just use one inch headspace. It seems to be fine with all the other ones that I have here and the ones I've done before. And I'll even show you this, the pint size that I did. Here is a pint size. This is the one that was an inch and a quarter and the shrinkage was just crazy. So you definitely can get away with doing just only one inch of headspace when you are canning your chicken. Okay guys, well thank you so much for watching. I hope that you've gained some knowledge with this and let me know how you use your canned chicken because that's probably gonna be a video that's gonna be coming up here soon. And if you see any value in my videos, uh, definitely like and subscribe because it really does help me out. But as always guys, take care of yourself and God bless.